Hey everybody, how you doing? Uh, Coach PJ here on Wednesday. Wanted to change up the format with the revival messages. Thought I'd send out a little screen recording video. You can hear my voice. Uh, some of you probably don't think I'm a real person, but I am. So, uh, at any rate, a buddy of mine in the fitness industry, Paul Carter. He's a good follow, by the way. If uh, any of you guys follow fitness people on social media. Uh, he wrote this post the other day, and boy, this really hits home, and I think this uh, mirrors what I'm always telling you guys about compliance, because these numbers uh, do not lie. This is why I have you guys track uh, compliance, why I'm always talking about the optimal range for progress is in that 90% uh, realm. And I talk to you guys a lot about in your bi-weeklies, if you look at a 30 or 31 day month, you really can only have about three or four days uh, going over your calories to make uh, sustained solid progress. Okay, and he kind of, he breaks it down uh, by meals, but it's the same principle. Um, and again, you'll see that this is all about consistency over perfection. Um, you know, if you, you're eating four meals a day for the month, 120 meals, 108 of them are on point, um, and you get basically 12 meals um, that are loose, okay, that's basically three free, free meals a week. Uh, free meaning, uh, you know, you're over your calories, you're eating things outside the scope of your normal diet, maybe you're, you're eating a little bit more. Uh, of the food you typically eat. Maybe you're not tracking those meals, but you can have about three a week uh, to where, you know, you don't have to be perfect. So this isn't diet prison <clears throat> by any means. It's just what is required and necessary to get results, right? There's no getting around this. There's no hacking this. This is what it is. And if <clears throat> you want progress and you want the prize, you want the look, you want the feel. This is what it takes, okay, for months and months on end. Again, there is absolutely no getting around this. You, you, you cannot hack it. There's not an easier way. You need to accept this, period. Okay, and again, this is just his way of reiterating what I always tell you guys. 90% of the time, you know, 80 to 90%. Uh, in some cases, you got to be on point. 30 to 31 days in a month, you can only be over your calories that I set for you at the end of your meal plan template three or four times. Okay, this is just his way of of breaking that down, which is also very, very good. Um, so this is something to keep in mind. Now, this part here, <laughs> this is a little bit harsh <clears throat> on Paul's part, but you know, on one hand, he's absolutely correct. I don't, I don't think, I, I don't want to call people lazy or say that, uh, you know, somebody doesn't necessarily care. I think a better way to say it is uh, maybe it's not the, uh, maybe it's not a priority for you. A lot of people get into this uh, fitness and fat loss and body transformation and lifestyle game saying they want it. You know, they, they, they want results badly. They say they're willing to do what's at whatever it takes. And then when they get into it about two weeks, they figure out that, whoa, this is, in fact, hard work. And I have to be consistently on point with this stuff. I can't be wishy-washy with it. This is a lot of hard work. And I've had plenty of people over the years that, Find that out. And they say, you know what? I, I really don't know that I'm, I'm willing to do what it takes. And that's okay. But there's no getting around the fact that you have to do what it takes. And you've got to do it for a long time. I often say to people, until you've been 90% consistent with your nutrition, particularly your nutrition and your training for 90 days, you have not earned the right to complain about uh, your results or lack thereof. Okay? If you are in this range of compliance for months on end, you will get results. This is all evidence-based stuff, okay? 
my nutrition programs, my training programs. It is what science says works. Okay, this isn't voodoo. This isn't my opinion. I'm going by what the research says and what real life has shown me. And I can assure you that any client I've ever had that makes a dramatic transformation, people I put up on my social media and Instagram feed, um, many of you listening to this right now fall into that category, and, and I'm sure you're nodding your head to all this. Anybody who's made massive progress in my program, or any program, has been ridiculously consistent for a long period of time. Most of my transformations with clients Minimum of six months and usually more like 12 to 18 months. And that's with this type of compliance pretty darn consistently. Sure, we all have periods uh, to where um, you fall off a little bit. But again, it comes back to consistency over perfection. All right. If you get off track, you can't use being off track as an excuse to stay off track. All right. It's, it's all about the consistency in playing a long game. And I'll take, you know, this type of stuff a little bit further here. People ask me how to maintain their results once they get them. And let me break down some numbers for you. Let's say you get uh, the results that you want and you want to know how to maintain them. Very simple. Simple but not easy. If you look at, let me bring my little handy dandy calculator up here. If you look at... Uh, a entire year, 365 days a year, all right? If you stay in a slight calorie deficit 70% of the year after you get your results, okay, so uh, 365 times 0 0.70, if you're in a slight calorie deficit and continuing to track your food intake 255 days out of the year, Okay, the other 30%, 365, that's 0 .30, the other 30% of the year, 110 days, I've run the numbers, you could be in a 1,000 calorie surplus above and beyond what you need to maintain your current body weight and maintain all of your progress. Okay, that's 110 days a year that you can be loose. All right, that is every vacation, every holiday, every special occasion, every anniversary, every birthday, most football Sundays, whatever it is. Okay, 110 days a year, you can be loose. And, you know, 1,000 calories uh, over what you need is a, a pretty good surplus. All right, that's like an extra Chipotle burrito on top of what you'd normally consume to maintain your weight every day or it's a six pack of beer, or four glasses of wine, or whatever, or an order of chicken wings, okay? So this is not dietary prison. You don't have to be perfect, especially after you get the results, you don't have to be perfect, okay? You know, 110 days a year is um, over two times a week, you can be loose if the other five days you're quantifying, you're, you're continuing to do what got you the results, you continue to do what got you there to begin with, um, you're going to be fine. That's called the fitness lifestyle. That's what I want for everybody, is to embrace that type of lifestyle, okay, to where you're, keep, you're always keeping the scales tipped in favor of doing the right stuff, tracking, quantifying, training hard consistently throughout the year, all right? And then, but the other 30% of the year doesn't matter because you can go on vacation and, and kind of blow it out of the water a little bit and you have no guilt about it. Yeah, you get back and the scale might be up a little bit or a lot bit, but if you get right back to doing what you were doing, it comes back off fast, like real fast. And that's how you maintain your results, all right? So, a little bit longer than I wanted to go here, but I could talk about this stuff all day. Bottom line, guys, compliance is key. This is why I have you guys check those boxes every day on your calendar. Did you stay at or below your calorie limit for the day? Check yes or no.
by forcing you to check those boxes every day. It keeps you in the game, okay? It's consistently a point of emphasis. It holds you accountable yourself, and it holds you accountable to me. A lot of coaches, they do like two-week check-ins or one-month check-ins via email. I don't believe in that. We track every day. We're held accountable every day. And that's what it takes because there's there's too many competing demands in life and too many distractions to where, as a lot of you know, this can get away from you really, really fast. But if you're forced to check a box and acknowledge your behavior every day in whatever area, the likelihood of you succeeding goes up exponentially. So that's all I got. Uh, I'll probably be doing stuff like this, these little video screen recordings once a week, send it out via email. So I hope you found this helpful. And I know you get sick of me talking about compliance, 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 calorie limit, calorie limit, calorie limit, but it's, it's, that's the entire thing. Okay. It's warming up to doing these very mundane things day after day after day, but doing them as though you love to do them. That's discipline, right? Anybody who's had success in any area of life will tell you that they have to execute mundane routines and mundane habits every day to maintain success or to have success. So just keep that in mind. Uh, have a good rest of your Wednesday. We'll talk soon.